Come with me. Here we are. Let's go. Creating magic. Everybody say hi. Say hi to the camera. I'm so excited guys and this is how we started off with our content and you can see the model looking so stunning She's saying hi. Hi Okay, and also you can see the hairstyle is trying to do her thing and making sure everything is set And there you go Elamo also making sure that face is fully baked and what she's doing now is she's currently contouring the um, lower part of the eye and you know that's how we do it so you guys are gonna be watching the process from start to finish and this is just the beginning so making sure that face is well baked and also making sure everything is looking all set up so this is going to be the first look which is the um the makeup and the air look so the air stylist will be doing our thing you know from start to finish All right, so she's lining up the brows now and trust me when you see a good makeup artist definitely you would definitely know and Ella Moore is one badass makeup artist Ella Moore Pro Beauty O'Shea So I lightening the brows and making sure everything is well, well, perfectly highlighted. And that's what she's doing now. Trust me, Ella Moore Pro Beauty is badass. For those of you who want to book Ella Moore, probably you have something to do in Nigeria. Kindly go to her Instagram handle at Ella Moore Pro Beauty. E L A M O R P R O Beauty. okay guys on to the eyeshadow now and she's making sure she's doing the prep the prep work for the eyeshadow which is um the basing she's making sure she's setting a lighter color down there and making sure everything will pop i mean guys i'm not a makeup artist but i know these things it's just part of the craft part of the also And so the air style is doing our thing, making sure the air is well rolled up, well rolled up, well coiled. I mean, you can't wait to see the finished look of this combo. You can't wait to see 
the finished look. Trust me, guys. It's mad, mad magic. And so, guys, this is the moment you have been waiting for. I mean, I probably didn't show um, the rest of, you know, the procedures, you know. But this is the finished look. And trust me, it's screaming perfection, screaming beauty, mad, mad. Look at that. Her style is too bad. She... Let's go. Can you say hi to the camera? Hi, my name is Gracie. Catch me up on IG at LSH. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Guys, this look is screaming class as in class. Look at that now. Abba. See makeup. And when you choke, you go no. When you choke, you definitely know. And this is definitely choke. And so guys, this is definitely the content you signed up for and this is just the first episode, trust me. And also don't forget what gets into the ghillie part and I'll be teaching you how I styled the ghillie for this look and we're doing a round ghillie for this look. Trust me, you know I'm definitely gonna come true. So it's about time to switch it up. Trust me, we're switching it up and we're dropping fire pleats. Air drop time with any gilly. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'll be giving you explanation. So just as you know it, we're using a two-quarter gilly, which is 90 inches, and 45-55 is the formula. Take your measurement and you base on the head. Also, don't forget your picking. This is a V-shape routine. You're picking uh, six to seven pleats, maximum of seven, minimum of six, and also you make sure you arrange slant in a slant way. So one is gonna be covering one side of the ear, and the other, I mean, going just behind the ear, and that's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. So arrange your pleats, and she holds down. Then we go to the back, and we pass our pleats from one side to the other don't forget shorter hand is always going to be above the longer hand so this is me here collecting my pleats the ones i picked already collecting them and so my shorter hand is always going above my longer hand and which is the normal rule so suck that in which is the longer hand and she's holding it at the front then also suck it in there so you don't have a um bulgy look there and you can also maximize your material all right so Take your pleats, collect the same amount of pleats, do not reduce your pleats, do not add to it, same amount of pleats. You can pick more pleats on that side if you want it, I mean it's not really something that is so necessary but make sure you're picking the same amount of pleats or more if you can handle it. Alright so pick four pleats on this side and you know arrange just as you know it, take four, you arrange all the way, all the way down. Make sure your pleats are well aligned and just on top of each other. Then you press it down. You hold it down. Alright, so at the back, you take the lower side of your ghillie and you pin it down at the back just the way I did it. Also now, so you want to start picking your pleats and I have my own method. This is my own method of picking my pleats from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top. Whichever one works for you, but you can also do vice versa it's normal to do vice versa so you arrange from the top to the bottom from the bottom to the top like that and so that's what we're going to be doing so make sure you don't rush this process for those of you who are learning take it slow arrange one on top of each other so after you arrange the middle you're gonna be aligning on the side which is your left hand side first you want to make sure you get that sorted out so once you're done sorting out your left hand side arranging your pleat to the base all you need to do is that you continue but firstly arrange your pleat so pick your pleats one by one make sure you don't leave anyone out or hard to eat on the way and make sure you pick the equal um, size of pleats you started with now picking equal size of pleats adds to the beauty of your ghillie it makes your ghillie 
uniform it makes your ghillie look like oh this ghillie was not tied um most of my ghillie are mistaken for auto ghillie but yo they are not auto ghillie i tie them i tie them they are all tied so make sure you want your ghillie to look like auto ghillie i mean you want that perfection always you want to make sure your ghillie is looking so flawless and that's the goal so pick your plate and continue arrange on top of each other and push up so for the height building you need to push up if you don't push up your height will never come up make sure you push up and you retain the height by holding um the ghillie down with your left hand which is the hand above and my right hand doing the work which is the picking of the pleat so keep picking your pleats pick your pleats make sure you arrange your pleat equally in equal size also after that she holds down for me and then i go to the back i continue picking my pleat i continue arranging just the same pleat on top of each other making sure that they are all equally picked and none is you know bigger because i want a uniform ghillie from start to finish and that's how we achieve those explicit design and looks of ghillie so so after you're done picking arranging make sure you're twisting for those of you who don't know how to twist kindly watch my tutorial on round this is also partly tutorial but this is up close with any so this is a show where i'll be showing you everything i go through tying ghillie you know whenever i'm creating content so pin down all you need to do now is pin down after you're done doing that make sure you pin down so once you're done pinning down i mean your ghillie is all set all you need to do is come back to the front and do your finishing just arrange all you need to do is arrange so this process i call this process buffing so you buff out your pleats your eating pleats make sure you buff them out how do you buff them out you want to make sure that all of them are the same all of them are equal when it comes to spacing and the way they appear you want to make sure that none of them is eating or none of them is actually bent so this is where you align them and you know make sure they are all straight and so after you're done doing that just arrange your ghillie and shape it to your best some of you might not like your ghillie looking so over or some of you might just want it so round where whichever way you want it to look make sure you shape it the way you want it but the finishing is very very important make sure you do your finishing correctly so guys here is the finished look i mean look at that look at that ghillie now i don't i don't even have to talk too much i mean the ghillie speaks for itself look at those pleats laser cut pleats and that's how you just pick your laser cut pleats it's not there's no eating technique there's nothing different about it all you need to do is master the art of tying this ghillie it's quite very very simple all you need to do is keep pra practicing don't forget to keep practicing of course you know practice make perfect i mean look at that look the look is fire all right guys don't forget to subscribe drop a comment and also give this video a thumbs up till next time up close with any love you guys